some foods that are considered healthy actually have a bad effect on your health and may accelerate aging. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 of those foods that you want to limit. Do it. Number one is going to be fruit juices. Fruit in its whole natural form is very beneficial for your health. It has all these different kinds of micronutrients and enzymes, and it's also pretty you know, low glycemic and it satiates you much longer than something in a juice form. Fruit juices just are very concentrated and they have all the fiber removed from the fruit, which uh, increases the glycemic response of that and uh, can also just increase the risk of diabetes. There is actually the association between sugar sweet and beverage consumption, which includes fruit juice as well. Now, personally, I think that a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice or grapefruit juice or other like fresh juice is actually, you know, it's okay. It's something that you don't want to have like with every meal. But if you drink like a one cup of fresh orange juice a day, then that's probably fine and has no real significantly, significantly harmful effect on your health. But most of the store juices that uh, generally don't have almost any fruit at all, they're just very highly concentrated with sugar, then yeah, those are the ones that you want to avoid. Number two is raw cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli and cauliflower, I think they're actually very amazing and one of the healthiest vegetables in the world. They have a lot of polyphenols and help to boost your body's glutathione levels. However, the issue is that when you eat them raw, they contain a lot of these goitrogenic compounds that can reduce the iodine absorption, which can also then lower your thyroid function and cause even goiter. Fortunately, cooking the cruciferous will reduce the amount of goitrogens in it. So what you want to do is make sure that you cook or boil or steam your uh, cruciferous vegetables properly before eating them. And I wouldn't really recommend eating them uh, raw, at least not in very large quantities. Number three is going to be oat milk. Oat milk is one of the most popular plant-based milks in the world but it's actually very high in added sugars and it will definitely spike your blood sugar levels upon consumption quite significantly. You can definitely test it out with yourself and you can see that the rise in blood sugar from oat milk is very high compared to regular dairy or other plant-based milks. Number four is going to be canola oil. So canola oil is almost considered to be like a heart healthy oil by the mainstream food market, but it's certainly not very beneficial for your heart health. Canola oil is processed in high heat and temperatures and pressure, which uh, oxidizes the oils and can cause lipid peroxidation in your body. Lipid peroxidation is a huge inflammatory response that damages your tissue and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and other ailments. Now, if it were to be cold pressed canola oil, Oil, then that is something that you can probably get away with and even small amounts of actual heated up canola oil is not you know something that you have to like manically worry about but it's certainly not healthy for you <laughs> like it uh, you can your body can of course handle a certain amount of oxidative stress and inflammation given that you have uh, properly working antioxidant defense systems and glutathione etc but if your antioxidant defenses are already overwhelmed then uh, yeah just adding that you know uh, oxidized uh, oil onto your diet is just making things worse number five is margarine which is thought to be another heart healthy fat but it actually turns out that margarine and added trans fat consumption is associated with increased heart disease risk so personally i don't like to add a lot of added fats to my diet anyway whether that be butter or margarine or any other canola oil whatever but uh, margarine is actually yeah one of the worst fats for your health 48 percent body fat number six is gonna be banana chips so banana chips, they're fruit, they're low calorie, and they must be healthy for you. But unfortunately, most of these banana chips are fried in different kinds of oils, which is usually canola oil. Banana chips are significantly higher in calories than regular bananas. They're probably like three to five times higher in calories than regular fresh bananas. And frying those banana chips in the oil also creates these advanced glycation end products that cause wrinkles, increase the risk of diabetes, and are definitely not healthy for you. So regular dried fruit like raisins or uh, dates even they are significantly healthier than these banana chips because yeah the banana chips are just fried in the oil that increases the calorie content a lot banana! number seven is ham or other kinds of processed meat processed meat consumption is associated with increased risk of mortality and it's also considered a carcinogen which increases the risk of cancer so all these different kinds of sausages hot dogs and hams all those things uh, they are not that healthy for you number eight is all different kinds of sports drinks 
What I'm referring to is specifically sports drinks that have added sugars. Consuming liquid sugar just causes a massive rise in your blood sugar and it can also cause insulin resistance. Of course, if you're a physically active person and you consume those uh, sports drinks during your exercise or closely around exercise, then yeah, you can probably get away with it. It's not going to have a massive impact on your blood sugar levels even if you just burn it off and use it to uh, restore your muscle glycogen stores. However, if you're the kind of person who drinks these sports drinks just <laughs> when they're sitting on a couch, then that's definitely not really advisable. And uh, yeah, just consuming sugar sweetened beverages is associated with increased risk of mortality. If you are choosing a kind of an electrolyte drink or a sports drink, then uh, what I recommend is to just have ones that uh, don't have any added sugars, there are zero calories and they just have added electrolytes. Number nine is going to be raw kale. So raw kale, similar reason as raw cruciferous. It has a lot of goitrogens that can just be harmful for your thyroid. Raw kale can also have a lot of oxalates that can cause kidney issues and kidney stones. But fortunately, you can also break down these oxalates and goitrogens if you cook it. And I don't think that eating kale is inherently bad for you. It's just that if you eat it raw, gonna have a bad time. So if you are eating kale or any of these greens, then it's somewhat better to just cook them slightly and heat them up. And lastly, number 10 is different kinds of salad dressing. So salad dressing inside this bottle, you've probably seen them. They just contain a lot of canola oil and added fats. Certainly, they're also very high in calories, so they don't really provide any nutritional value. They obviously have a taste profile and taste effect, but uh, you can easily find low calorie versions or zero, zero calorie, uh, these uh, salad dressings. If you are looking for a salad dressing, then just look for something that has either olive oil, uh, avocado oil, or you know something that is low calorie so there you have it this is a list of 10 common health foods that are actually not that healthy for you if you do want to slow down aging and live longer then i'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock if you're interested then email me the word health to info at and i'll send you the details but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered